So now the final for women under 48 kilograms. It's Tsunoda, the reigning world champion against Gambatar. And of course, the crowd is cheering for her. She's in the final for Mongolia. The silver at the Masters, two times bronze medalist at the Grand Slam. So definitely one of the stronger fighters in this category, but Tsunoda, of course, yeah, as the reigning world. But that's what we thought from a few Japanese today. That didn't work out. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I've got the feeling that Tsunoda is so much more bankable than uh, Yoshida or Shishime because they're the ones who've had possibly, you know, bigger success. But Sonoda just looks so certain the way she goes about her contests. And she knows that. Oh! Here, Gambatar takes a big risk by going against the arm. Going against the arm, yeah. How is it possible? She tried to break the grip, and that's okay, but then just um, pushes on the elbow with her whole body. And that is, it's a shame that uh, this final is over like this, but to uh, break the grip, here she does it. Changes the position from the right arm to the left arm, and then just and also with, with, yeah, two, with hands two hands on, on, on and, the and elbow. And pressing down. Yeah. No, I mean... No. Okay, so poor, it's afraid. a gold medal for Tsunoda. Unfortunately, we could not uh, see her judo in this final because it was already over after uh, half a minute. It's Tsunoda from Japan who wins the gold medal. So they where you jump in on one arm, and that's also not the smartest thing to do if you have this in your